Welcome back to Indy Now. On Thursday mornings, we love to bring you the latest entertainment headlines. And for that, we're turning to TMZ Sports executive producer, our friend Michael Babcock. Hi, Michael. Hey, Michael. Good morning, guys. How are you? We're doing great out here in Indy. Hope you're doing well out on the West Coast. I know we're going to jump. I am. Thanks for having me. Right in. Uh, there's a new O.J. Simpson documentary yeah. that we're hearing about. What do you know about it? Yeah, this is really interesting because uh, th this is essentially, you know, Harvey Levin, obviously the guy who created all of this here at TMZ. Uh, it, th this is Harvey's experience. Now, 30 years ago, he was the lead investigative reporter at CBS in Los Angeles. And he, we all, you know, we watched the trial wherever we might have been back then, right, in the mid-90s. But he literally covered this thing day in, day out and has fascinating, fascinating stories and, and actually was there and was was truly a part of this trial and the aftermath of it. So we've got this doc. It's called TMZ Presents OJ, how he really did it. It's uh, it's absolutely free right now on Tubi streaming available uh, as we sit here and talk. So he actually tells a story in the documentary. It was about a week after the acquittal and Harvey had a theory that OJ had gone over to Nicole Brown's home because he was going to slash her tires. He was essentially jealous and was mad that she was driving around town in this fancy car and he was going to slash the tires. Well, when he gets to the scene with a friend of his, there's a limo there. The limo almost immediately turns on the engine and speeds away. Harvey says, ah, that seems kind of weird. And they were looking at us strange. So they decide to follow this person and see what happens. Well, the, the limo speeds up. Harvey speeds up and, and this goes sort of back and forth for a little while. Eventually, what do you know what the limo pulls in to OJ Simpson's home and um, and OJ Simpson gets out and walks into his house. He was hanging out at the crime scene a week after the acquittal uh, for double murder. Oh, 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 yeah. So I, 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 why? Who knows? Looking for the real killer. I don't know. Um, we're, we're both too scared to comment. We're he, like, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was there oh, on, on the scene. So yeah. it, it's a lot of interesting stuff like that. Yeah, it, it's wild that uh, I mean something that happened what twenty five mm -hmm. plus years ago. Yeah. Is... Well, yes. No, you, believe, you know what? Believe this, right? Thirty. Yesterday was the thirtieth anniversary of the actual murders. Oh so, my wow. goodness! I, I, it's crazy how fast the time goes. Yeah. I can't can't believe it. Gosh. Oh, yeah. I, remember I can it like remember. It was yeah, and yeah. I can remember being in line at school for lunches and the teachers wheeled out a TV yeah, the for the verdict. Yeah. Yes, yeah. like that's how I knew. I'm like, this is a big deal. They're yeah. wheeling in a TV at lunch? Yeah. Wow, crazy. Okay, yeah, next I, story. I know, it's, yeah. it's surreal. I remember too being a kid and coming home from school and watching it on like court TV or something. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, amazing it's been so long. It's yeah. crazy. Well, the next story that we're covering, Michael, has to do with Benifer, if you will. Jennifer yeah. Lopez and Ben Affleck. What's the latest there? Yeah, so I mean, this is this is sad. It's it's unfortunate. Look, they're uh, they, they they didn't get together all that long ago. They're married. Uh, the families have blended together. But this thing is headed, unfortunately, for divorce. They are selling their sixty million dollar mansion that they bought last year. They literally looked at over eighty properties. It took them more than two years to decide on this this place that they are now turning around and selling twelve months later. There was a point where we would see them together over the last couple of weeks and it seemed like they were trying to put on a good show, put on a brave face. They'd hug each other, they'd kiss in public. Now, not even doing that anymore. So Ben's son, Sam, uh, graduated and Jennifer went out to support Sam, which was awesome, I thought. But bottom line is they didn't uh, arrive together and from people we talked to, it doesn't even look like they talked to each other when they were inside the uh, graduation ceremony totally keeping their distance from one another. And I mean, this is a married couple. And again, it it, uh, it it seems like the writing's on the wall, unfortunately, here for their relationship. Oh, no. What I got all the bad news. I know I got all the bad topics. <laughs> uh, that's another nostalgic one because mm -hmm. everybody was so happy about them finding yeah. love for the second time after yeah. the first time. No, around. I know. Right. I think people thought it was fate. You know, yeah. they were together in the early 2000s and then she was engaged to Alex Rodriguez and, yeah. and mm -hmm. they broke it off because her and Ben reconnected and you said, yeah. okay, this is actually meant to be Ben and yeah. Jen. And, right. Uh, I, 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 I guess not. I'm going to say it. What are you going to say? say I think he lost a real one when he, when he broke up with Jennifer Garner. But that's what, just yeah. me. I, I think a lot, and a lot of people have said that. I do I, so I, I, yeah, I think that's a that's a good point. By the way, the son, uh, is, Sam, is Jennifer's son, so she was there too. So you had them all sort of, I think, kind of staying away yeah. from each other. Was Matt Damon there just for moral support, just like <laughs> hanging out with his buddy, for, just for yeah, for uh, like just emotional support, goodwill yeah, hunting? Talk 2. about 0. an A-list event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. You're not kidding. Yeah.
Michael, thanks so much, yes, man. We appreciate you. your time keeping of us course, informed. Of course, anytime. Yeah, thanks, thanks for man. Having me. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you cracked me up. Yeah.